It was once stated by James Hetfield of Metallica that nothing can duplicate the sheer power and feeling you get from standing in front of your amp and bashing on your guitar. For me, playing the guitar has become one of my favorite hobbies, and as of now, I can still outplay my dad. There are many different types of guitars, from the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, and even the single string dimly bow, which will be the main focus of my presentation. Before I share further details about the Diddley Bow, I'd first like to talk about the other two guitars I brought with me. First, the acoustic guitar, which is made up of the body with the sound hole, the bridge, the neck with frets, the nut, the headstock with tuners, and the strings. This guitar is generally played in blues, bluegrass, and country, and it sounds like this. There. Next is the electric guitar. It is made up of the body, but it's quite similar to the acoustic guitar. Instead of a hollow body with a sound hole, it has pickups to detect sound and plug in for an amplifier. This guitar is fun to play. Just turn up the amp, start strumming, and everyone will leave you alone. Both guitars are played in the same way, by fingering different notes and chords, different frets and strings. But this next guitar, the Diddley Bow, is quite different. The Diddley Bow, which is most often a homemade instrument, is made up of the body, the pickup to detect sound, the bridge, the nut, which I used an antique Coke bottle, the tuner, the single string, and it also has a plug-in for an amplifier. To play this guitar, the musician uses a metal or glass slide, like this one I made, and they move it along this single string to create different pitches. The Diddley Bow is usually associated with the southern United States, such as Louisiana, and is often played in blues music. As I stated before, the Diddley Bow is often homemade, like this one I made last year, <clears throat> and musicians usually play them as individuals rather than as part of a band. The Diddley Bow is the classic front porch instrument, as it allows for the musician to create the original music for fun. That is what I like about the Diddley Bow. Here's what it sounds like. So a couple of recordings that I'd like to show you. This next song is inspired by a windstorm that ripped through much of our state. Like this storm, it starts out slow and picks up speed. I call this song Derecho. <laughs> Thank you. 
This final song has a rock feel to it. The main riff I created when I first started playing the diddly bow, I call this Shrimp on a Stick. <laughs> If you find it desirable to learn how to play a diddly bow, you can make your own just as I have done. There are many helpful resources online and invest around $20 for supplies. Once it is completed, put on a pot of gumbo, go out to your front porch and start strumming away. There's no limit to what you can create. Any questions? Yes. So when was it that I first came across the how to make it? Well, we were just looking up different things on videos on YouTube on how to just many different riffs for guitars and it popped up how to make your own diddly bow and I was interested in that and it pretty much is just hooking a, a pickup up on to the under on a two by four and we just added quite a bit to the design they showed. Yes. So are both of those recordings that I did on this diddly bow? Yes, I recorded them both. So basically, so the question was, am I just doing it on my own without any other instruments? So yeah, so I pretty much make it up as I go along and it's like improvisation when I do it. So of these, which is my favorite? Probably I like to play the electric guitar the most. Uh, I kind of like to play like songs that have already been like I like to play classic rock. And yes. Uh, the question is, who is my favorite guitar player? Uh, I, I haven't really decided. <laughs> the question was, do I take lessons? Yes, I do. In, uh, just with the electric guitar, but in Marshalltown, there's a uh, like guitar shop, Randall's, where they do guitar lessons. Any other questions? This concludes my presentation.